the original idea behind the Digital Activity Center actually goes back to, to 2000. When the shootings happened in, in Littleton, Colorado and Columbine, Peace Games was part of the crew that was organizing the youth component of that. And one of the ideas that we had was to create a digital resource for teachers. So this is a story I, I want us to tell today. And uh, I want to start with, with, with you, Grace. So talk about the Digital Activity Center's creation process and, and what you remember about that. I feel like a lot of my early work was trying to get us all on the same page about like, what is that vision? What are our options in terms of platform? Like, what can we understand from users? Once we had it out there and we're starting to collect feedback from teachers and Girl Scout leaders and other folks around the country and around the world, we were able to start thinking about what trends we were noticing. And I feel like, Lauren, you were right there at that time when we were like starting to tease that out and to say like, would it be okay if somebody just came in because their third grade class is like having some trouble on the playground and like need some conflict resolution skills. This curriculum is really awesome, but it can't work for everyone. Um, and so we need to pivot and make sure that it's just about making this accessible to everyone. It's a overwhelming, but cool kind of like waterfall of just everything adds up, um, but it all makes sense. And it's, and I think it's been a clear indication of like the organizational values have always been at the center of it. And it's really just, what do we do to in service of that? And how do we actually make sure our work is speaking to that in every way possible that we can imagine?